How to adjust your piece number options in Practicad. Practicad has a variety of different piece numbering options we can use when numbering duct. Currently we have a duct line on the drawing that has been numbered duct line forward with the number one all the way to the number six in sequential order. Take note that Practicad has given each duct an individual number increasing in increments by one from the beginning of the duct line to the end of the duct line. So we have six pieces of duct six numbers. Now some contractors would like that if we have two fittings with identical parameters and they are identical fittings that they should get identical piece numbers. And Practicad gives you the ability to turn this option on. Now we're going to go into the section and show you how to adjust that before you run your numbering automatics. But before we go into the second part of this tutorial, we're going to classify for you how Practicad deciphers whether or not two fittings are in fact identical. A very good way to tell is to simply click on two fittings on the drawing. We're going to use these two here. If we highlight two or more entities on the drawing and we look in the AutoCAD property box, if we see the word varies anywhere in the geometry, technology, or identification parameters, these two fittings are not identical. These two on the drawing currently happen to be identical. You can see everything in the geometry matches. There is no word varies. You can see technology, all of the properties match, and even under identification, at no point do we see the word varies. If we were to turn the mechanism, identical fittings, identical fitting numbers on, and number this duct, they would both get the same number. However, if we change even one parameter, for example, we're just going to click on this duct here and we're going to come down to where it says number blanks and instead of 2U, we're going to pick 1. Now if we click both ducts, because the number of blanks is different, you can see right here, we get the word varies. So if Practicad sees the word varies anywhere inside geometry, technology, or identification parameters, they will not be classified as identical. Now that we have an understanding of what makes two fittings identical, we're now going to show you how to use the identical fitting, identical fitting number option. What we're going to do is we're going to use a few different automatics to just delete all the numbers off the drawing. This way we can reset all numbers back to zero. We're going to change our current number in the workbox back to one. Now what we're going to do is renumber the duct, but this time we're going to check the proper option to make sure that identical fittings get identical numbers. We're going to go into the library icon on the Practicad ribbon. On the left hand side we're going to go to the ductwork options by clicking on the word ductwork. When we do that Practicad will open the ductwork options up. In the top right you can see that we have piece numbering options and currently we've got three check boxes with three different choices. The first choice is keep same piece number for identical entities. When this box is checked Practicad will go into a mode that at all times when you make edits to the drawing or number anything on the drawing, that before it numbers something or changes a number, it searches the drawing to make sure that if it's got a fitting that matches its own properties, that its piece number gets the same one as that fitting. So all identical entities on the drawing will get the same fitting number. So what we're going to do is we're going to hit the save key and then we're going to exit out. Notice that we always do that before we run the automatic for numbering. Now what we're going to do is we're going to use a numbering automatic. We're going to take one out of our automatic bin called duck line forward and we're going to number this line using an automatic but this time we've got identical fittings, identical fitting numbers checked. So we're going to click on the drawing now. When we run this automatic, you'll see that Practicad has now taken these first two fittings and it's given them the same number, number one, number one. And then it goes down the line in sequential order. We get number two, number three, number four, and this fitting here is the same as this fitting, so it gets the number three. Now, once you're in this mode, Practicad is going to stay in this mode until you come out of this mode which means that if I were to come and let's say add a damper into this fitting here and we say let's put in a VD blade damper and press OK. The second we go to make an edit you'll see that Practicad has changed the piece number because when you go to change or edit or add a new fitting 
anything different on the drawing. At the time you go to make that change or add something new or renumber something, Practicad checks the entire drawing to see if anything else matches this property. Currently, nothing matches it, so it gets number five. If we were to come right here to this duct and put the exact same damper in the exact same place, you can see that this will pick up the number five from this fitting. So this way, at all times, when this mode is on, we get identical fittings with identical fitting numbers. Now, Practicad currently offers a few different options to differentiate what classifies as identical fittings. And these options are listed under our ductwork libraries. What we're going to do is we're going to go into the library icon on the Practicad ribbon, and we're going to go into ductwork options again. Over here under the ductwork options, we've got it highlighted on our browser on the left. Under piece numbering, we've got two options, differentiate by special instructions and differentiate by specification. When these boxes are checked, it means that if the entities have different special instructions, they should get different piece numbers. And this one means that if two ducks have different specifications, but everything else in terms of parameters match, they should get different numbers. So what we're going to do here is we've currently got differentiate by special instructions checked. And what we're going to do is we're going to exit out and we're going to click on these two fittings we have here. And we're going to go to the AutoCAD property box. And notice currently as you scroll down the parameters, at no point do we see the word varies in our geometry, technology, or identification parameters. We don't have the word varies. So these fittings are identical. So right now if we come in and we go to number these with piece numbering tags, you can see that they are getting identical numbers because they're identical fittings. However, we have the option checked to differentiate by special instruction. So if we were to come down here to the identification parameters, and for just one fitting, not both, we're just going to click on one fitting on the right, we're going to change the special instruction. And we're going to switch the special instruction to the option we have on this current desktop, access door. And we're going to hit enter. Now, when we do that, you can see that Practicad has changed and updated the drawing to make this fitting's number different from this fitting because we have the option that says differentiate by special instruction. If we were to do that with specifications, it would do the exact same thing. So now what we're going to do is we're going to come over here. We're going to uncheck access door and hit enter. That makes the fittings identical again. We're going to go back into the library ductwork options, and we're going to come over to where it says differentiate by special instruction, and this time we're going to uncheck it and do the same thing for this demonstration. We're going to hit save. We're going to come out of the ductwork libraries. We're going to click on just one fitting. We're going to go down to where it says special instruction, and we're going to add the same one we did before, access door. We're going to hit enter. However, this time when we hit enter, Practicat is not changing the piece number because we said do not differentiate by special instructions. So those are two options that Practicat has currently. I would imagine that list will continue to grow as more users make requests, but currently have those two options for identical fittings, identical fitting numbers.